Is red light therapy or infrared light healthy for your eyes? There's a lot of confusion out there because infrared light can be bad for your eyes and obviously red light therapy devices do include some infrared light. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is discussing the different types of infrared light and whether you need to be concerned about your eye health with red light therapy. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia and welcome to the Mitochondria YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about the topics of light, circadian rhythms, and how these things can be optimized so that you can live your best life. Now, yesterday I sent an email out to my email list and asked for any questions people have surrounding red light therapy. And Jim Cremens reached out and asked about infrared light and whether or not it is bad for your eyes. He obviously wanted to figure out if red light therapy is safe. And there is a lot of confusion out there because there are different forms of infrared light and not all of them are used by red light therapy. So to start, I just wanna give a quick explanation of the infrared spectrum. So infrared light is broken down into near infrared, mid-wave infrared, and far infrared. Now these three types of light have very different effects on the human body. And the type of light that is used by red light therapy is in the near infrared spectrum. It's also very important to clarify that red light therapy doesn't use the entire near infrared spectrum. So where the near infrared spectrum runs from 750 nanometers to 3000 nanometers, red light therapy typically only uses between 750 and 1000 nanometers. Now the reason for that is because what happens in the human body is as the wavelengths go above 1000 nanometers, the light tends to be absorbed by the water in your tissues. And you can see this by, it's called the absorption coefficient of water, is that as the wavelength increases beyond 1000 nanometers, water starts to absorb it. Now the goal of red light therapy is to increase the energy production within your cells. And the way that it does that is by being absorbed by the mitochondria in your cells. So as soon as you go above 1000 nanometers, it's the type of light stops being absorbed by the mitochondria and now gets absorbed by the water in your tissues and therefore generates heat. So there are two ways that infrared light can be bad for your eyes and we're going to quickly cover that now with two studies. The first study is titled Effects of Infrared Radiation on the Lens. Now in this study they're using a near-infrared heat lamp. So this is the type of bulb that will emit near-infrared beyond the 1000 nanometer spectrum and is going to cause a lot of heat in your tissues. Now, no surprise here, what they did in this study is they used rabbits and they had them stare at this near infrared lamp for five to 10 minutes, eight inches away. Not surprisingly, this led to eye damage and to cataract formation in these rabbits. And this is obviously what a lot of people are concerned about. Now they read the study and they think near infrared light, it must be damaging your eyes because of what we've seen in the study and therefore red light therapy is bad. Now with your understanding that the type of light they're using here is not the same near infrared that is used in red light therapy, you can understand why that wouldn't be an issue. Now the second study is gonna cover another issue that can arise and that is using a light intensity that is far too high. Staring at any light is going to be bad for your eyes if the light is too bright. And there's a study that was titled Cataract Formation by Near-Infrared Radiation in Rabbits. Now what's very important in this study is they did use near-infrared light similar to what would be used in red light therapy. So it's around the 800 to 850 nanometer range. But they were trying to replicate the conditions that people in the steel and glass industry work in because they are very prone to getting cataracts. So what they did is they used a device, they made again rabbits, stare at a device for six minutes that was 1,270 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Now to give you some perspective, red light therapy devices generally don't go anywhere above 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared. That is normally what I would recommend as a good device. The cheaper ones that don't often get any results are below that, so 20, 50 milliwatts per centimeter squared. But these animals now stared at a device that was more than 10 times as strong as any panel you would get. They were staring directly at it for six minutes. And again, they had some eye damage. So this doesn't mean that red light therapy is 100% in the clear and you can just stare at your device endlessly and it's not gonna be bad for your eyes. You do need to be wary of the protocol that you're following. 
There's a study in humans where they saw significant improvements in their eye health. The study is titled Morning Exposure to Deep Red Light Improves Declining Eyesight. And in the study, they simply used a very light powered torch and they looked at it for three minutes per day and they found significant improvements in the eye health. So what you can do if you have a red light therapy device is just allow the ambient light to enter into your eyes. I won't stare directly at a red light therapy device because they are very powerful. But for example, the My Light Move, which I use over here, I will switch that on and while I am working, I will have that aimed away from my face and for three minutes while I'm working on my computer, just allow the ambient light to enter my eyes. It's a great way to start your day in the morning as all really wakes you up. And if you have a panel device, you can also just target another area. So you could be targeting your chest and then just allowing the light to enter your eyes again, three minutes per day. And it's best to do this in the morning time. Studies have shown that morning time red light exposure leads to the best improvements in eyesight. And if you want to see an absolutely incredible story of someone who used red light therapy to improve their eye health, I'll leave a link above here to a video. Someone I worked with personally, his name's Richard. He used the MyLight Max, just targeting his chest, keeping his eyes open for three minutes a day. And he speaks about his improvements in eyesight, as well as the response that he got from the eye specialist that he was working with. He completely removed scar tissue that was never meant to disappear. Very, very interesting story. Again, I'll leave the link above here. Go and check that out. And then if you guys have any questions from today's video, please drop them in the comments section below and then we can carry on a conversation there. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.